New York State is denying a critical permit for a controversial Bitcoining, Bitcoin mining operation, I should say. Officials say the business in New York's Finger Lakes region is not meeting state climate laws. NBC's Gretchen Morganson joins me now with more on this. So, Gretchen, you know, we hear Bitcoin and we think about money, we think about finances. This is really a story about pollution, though, right? Tell us what's happening. Well, to mine Bitcoin, Aaron, takes a tremendous amount of electricity. Um, it is really energy intensive because the computers that are trying to solve the problem, i.e. create a Bitcoin by solving that mathematical problem, work 24-7 and are often powered by fossil fuels. Like this particular plant you're looking at here as a natural gas-fired Bitcoin mining plant on the shores of Lake Seneca in upstate New York. So the problem is that when you mine for Bitcoin, you consume a tremendous amount of electricity. University of Cambridge says that the Bitcoin mining consumption currently is on track to equal the consumption of Pakistan. So it's a tremendous amount of electricity. And so what powers that? Is it a fossil fuel? Is it then creating emissions? And that is what this situation is all about. And you've explained it so clearly. I appreciate that. Bitcoin mining is not necessarily something that uh, a lot of folks that yet have a real grasp for. So thank you for that. I, I, I do wonder, you know, how could this plant reduce its emissions at this point? And is the company challenging the state at all? The company is challenging this ruling. Now, this ruling came from the Department of Environmental Conservation in New York, and it's really based on a new law that was enacted in 2019 that really aims to ratchet down emissions across the state. And so what they're aiming to do is to reduce those emissions by 40 percent in 2030. So what the DEC said in this case was this plant and this operation is inconsistent with that law, which is why they struck it down and said no to the permit application. Now, what the company is saying is we don't agree with you. We want to appeal this. They do have the ability to appeal it. But I will tell you, Aaron, that um, recently a case in New York like this, in which a company appealed a ruling by the DEC in Orange County, was dismissed by a county judge there. So it's unclear on this case, but it does have precedent of DEC winning the day. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.